hey guys welcome once again to my youtube channel uh, i just want to thank everybody who has been subscribing and those who have been showing love on my recent videos i appreciate it a lot and don't forget if you're new watching my channel don't forget to subscribe subscribe and don't forget to like comment share like i say in all my videos your support means everything to me So today I'm actually going to talk a little bit uh, the topic that has been in my heart for a while has been um, the word insecurities so um, I literally just got back from an event this morning and I had my makeup on I was like oh might as well do a quick video I got an award I got an award for outstanding uh, paraprofessional for those who don't know I am a paraprofessional and I've been doing this for about four years and it's a lot um, but I can say that I've learned so much throughout this process and I've been able to connect with different kids and just um, even relate to some stories so yeah uh, I love my kids and I do love what I do and so back to my subject so yes so i've been wanting to speak about um i want to share with you guys just a few thoughts of mine a few things that have been in my mind um and a few things that i like go to sleep with and then wake up with and i like even in like throughout my day is something that i think about a lot um and it's our insecurities and i know that a lot of people have insecurities there's at least one thing that you don't like about yourself I'm gonna speak a little bit of my story and how and what i was insecure about um and maybe some of you can relate so growing up one of my insecurities was um, my acne so i had really bad acne um i don't remember the exact age but i remember probably my my early teenage years I would have really bad like skin um, it started on my face and I remember this one joke that somebody made I felt horrible <laughs> I mean I can laugh about it now but like um, they're like oh you could play connect the dots in your face and I was like huh huh yeah <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty mean. It was something that truly like hurt me um, because I was young, I was young minded and like I was just really, I got really hurt by those comments and it was not that, it was not only that comment, like it was more multiple comments that, you know, people would make fun of my acne. Um, and as, as I got older, things were getting worse. Like I started getting it on my back and on my arms and on my chest and like, I would get so mad and I would look at myself in the mirror and I would like pull my hair and I would hit myself and I'm like why like why like why me like why do I have to have this type of skin and I feel like that a lot of our insecurities happen like we we like dwell on them so much it's because of how society and the people around us take it so for example like something that has been on my mind it's like why can having acne be normal like something that you know people can go outside with their faces with their bare face like that and not feel like somebody's looking at them all the time or or looking at their faces or or like thinking that somebody's making fun of them or you know like why is it that we've allowed um kind of like society dictate our emotions when it comes to our insecurities um because I'm pretty sure that if we didn't get made fun of out there, if you didn't get made fun of whatever insecurity you have, um, I'm pretty sure that those insecurities wouldn't bother us as much. Um, but so, yeah, so it's just something that's been in my heart. And I feel like, you know, you shouldn't allow comments like that to to kind of like get in the way of of who you really are and what where your beauty really comes from um, so yeah like I said I grew up um, you know being made fun of and it's something that it was hard to deal with just because all you see on social media and all you see you know I mean social media you can cover it up and stuff but you know you can pretty much tell who has clear skin and and who doesn't and it's a you know 
you see that and it's like oh my god like why couldn't i have my face like that so thank god my face has cleared out a lot but i got scars um and like i have a lot of open pores which is something that i'm not gonna lie that i do look at myself in the mirror sometimes and i kind of like hate it like i cringe a little and i'm like oh my gosh why did i have to um why do i have to have this on my face um but then i hear like some people how like oh you have nice skin and this and that i'm just like are they seeing what i'm seeing so i just feel like like if we were all like if if social media like since social media is such a powerful um tool like why not show models that have pimples i just feel like it would be a much better world if if people out there would would um how do you say it like if society didn't make this such a big issue um and i'm saying it because it still happens now like i have um teenage girls that um you know that tell me how insecure they are about their skin um that they don't even want to go outside they don't even want to go to school and it's like why like why 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 are you allowing your skin dictate um you know or define you like there it's you know you are beautiful and you know i'm speaking for those who have struggled especially with their skin if you feel like you know you're this ugly person because of your acne like no i'm here to tell you that you are beautiful and that those marks on your face do not define you so i strongly 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 felt in my heart to like speak over that because I, I was there and I know how it feels and it is not a good feeling so if you are looking at this and or if you know somebody that should listen to this you know um, yes share with them <laughs> because um, I just want you to know like how beautiful you are and and how you were created and how um, you know how amazing and how beautiful and how detailed you were created you know our heavenly father did not make a mistake when he created you and you know it's part of life it's part of life to have pimples it's part it's part of life to to deal with um you know certain like specific things if you don't have it then amen i'm not hating on you girls <laughs> those who have perfect skin amen to you like i admire that um but yeah but let's 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 give that same love and support for the sisters out there that have you know their face looking like this um i mean thank god for makeup but even then like like there i, I know of girls that like they wouldn't come out their house because like they wouldn't come out their house without makeup just because they're afraid of showing their skin first of all there is no makeup that that covers pimples i just feel like it, it makes it worse so for a while i was one who would always wear makeup just because i didn't want my skin to like be seen but i literally don't wear makeup throughout the week like to work i go without makeup unless i'm i feel like I'm, i feel like just beating my face a little bit um normally i do my makeup when i'm gonna go like out or something but yeah like it's time for people, for society, to allow these people that have acne to feel comfortable in their own skin, to feel comfortable in going out there and not feel like you're being judged by what is in your face. Um, I don't think that this is often spoken about and maybe, maybe you're watching this and you don't think that this is a big deal, but know that with me, like, like, this is a story this is my story when it came to my insecurity and you know it hasn't been easy um i've i've been like i've been doing way better but again like it's growing up it was hard like it even it even um like it even clashed in with my depression and my anxiety and and not wanting to live because i'm like why i gotta have this <laughs> so yeah it's serious so it is serious when somebody when somebody speaks about their insecurities so you know if you have an insecurity i just pray that you may like speak about it to someone and don't stay shut don't think that you know nobody's out there to listen um your insecurity doesn't define you you know so i pray and i just speak over your life right now and i pray that 
um, God's love and you know his grace may fall may fall upon you like never before where you feel different and you feel like you know what like you can look at yourself in the mirror and say i am fearfully and beautifully made um so yes um this is not gonna be a long video i just wanted to share my thoughts on insecurities if you have any thoughts or if you have any questions about this topic feel free to comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe at our hellis Capellan. um and also follow me on instagram our hellis Capellan. Well, Argelis underscore Capellan 03. Um, so yes, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. And I hope that you are best with this video. And I hope to hear some feedback.